Hey everyone, Scipio here, and do I have a surprise for you? I have a Jeep that I know is for sale. No, it's not overclocked, but you're gonna like this. So many moons ago, uh, it's been a little while, uh, I did a video walk around on a really awesome Jeep uh, from my buddy out in Colorado, and he hit me up and said it's for sale. So So he asked if I would help get the word out and I'm gonna do that. So uh, I'll tell you right now, if you're interested in this Jeep, you want to know more information, uh, hit me up, cpo at o3djeeps.com. Uh, put it right here uh, on the, the window here in front of your face. Um, yeah, hit me up and I'll share it with you. I don't wanna share the price just here because if he changes the price, um, the video's out of date, so look, I'm just gonna tell you, email me, I'll tell you the price, and, uh, and I'll put you in contact with him. But let's go through the detail of this Jeep because no expense has been spared. This thing has been built for show, but also for go. So primarily used uh, for, uh, for Jeep events uh, and, uh, and show type stuff, but again, no expense has been spared on this build. So if you're looking for one that is built to the nines, uh, maybe the 11s, let's put it up at the 11s. This might be the Jeep for you. So let me go through the list of the things that have been done to it. In the meantime, I'll also, uh, here in a little bit, replay some of the video of my walk around with that Jeep. So just so it's fresh in your mind, uh, but yeah. Hit me up, cpo at o3djeeps.com if you wanna know uh, more information about this. And like I said, I'll put you in touch with the seller uh, friend of mine. So uh, yeah, let's do it. So this is a 2014 JKU in Anvil, the rare, awesome Anvil. Uh, I'm a fan, my 2015 is also Anvil. But this thing only has 35,500 miles. It's hardly been driven uh, in the last six years. It has a Dakota 6.4 Hemi in it, 500 horsepower and 500 foot of torque. It has a Borla SS exhaust with an electric bypass. It's only got 1,500 miles on that Hemi, by the way. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. Terraflex, four inch long arm suspension. It's got 3.3 Falcon shocks from Terraflex. It's got the Terraflex Dana 60 rear and Dana 44 HD front. It's got RCV front axles, Sierra Chromali rear axle shafts. It's got the Terraflex big rotor brake kit, both front and rear with Hawk metallic brake pads. ARB lockers front and rear, Sierra 488 gears. It does have the Rubicon 4 to 1 transfer case. Also cool. I wish I had that in my Jeep. It's got the Rubicon uh, sway bar disconnect. It's got Curry Anorak sway bar kit on the rear. It's got dual Optima batteries with a cutoff disconnect. It's got Dakota paddle shifters. I drove this thing. Paddle shifters on a Jeep. Super fun. Rock slide engineering front stubby bumper. It's got a 12,000 pound worn Xeon synthetic winch with a Factor 55 Ultra Hook. It's got rock slide engineering rear bumper and a tire carrier and uh, four Wayland LED lights. It's got the rock slide engineering step sliders. Are you seeing a trend? With the body armor and LED lights. It's got a uh, the rear body armor is Poison Spider and it is body color painted. It's got a worn 4500 remote control winch under the rear bumper, also with a Factor 55 link. It's got the uh, trunk vault security uh, storage in the rear. It's got a TerraFlex internal rack system. It's got a power tank air system. It's got custom rear brake lights and a folding plate bracket. It has a TerraFlex roof rack and a basket. Baja Designs light bar front and rear. Uh, Baja Designs rock lights. Osnium LED lights under the hood. Wheeling emergency strobes built into the front grille and the tire carrier. 
Team Tech Off-Road Hydraulic Hood Struts, Dead Pedal, and Pistol Mount. You've seen me install all those things on my Jeep, so uh, that's pretty rocking. Tuffy lock boxes under each front seat. They're all keyed the same, so just one key for that stuff. Uh, it's got front and rear custom gray leather heated seats with red stitching. It's got Switch Pros and S-Tech Switch Systems. Uh, there's 12 switches in total. Uh, with a custom 3D printed housing. Poison Spider Trail Roll Cage, Raxium Sat Nav uh, with uh, SD and AM FM radio. Looks factory, but far from factory. It's got a gold 1200 watt amp under the passenger seat. All six factory speakers have been replaced with Polk Audio high end upgrades. It's got a rear subwoofer that has been replaced uh, in the factory location and it's got custom powder coated bead locks and your choice of brand new Toyo MT 3717s or BFG all-terrain 3717s. He's gonna put new tires on it and give you the choice of which tires you want. There's a lot of money in this Jeep. Again, hardly used, hardly used. And most of that stuff has seen very little time. He is asking a very low price uh, compared to what he has in it. So hit me up, CPO at O3D Jeeps. I told him I'd help him sell it. I'll put you in touch. Uh, I want to uh, just have serious buyers only. So if you're looking at spending some money, it's not gonna be cheap, right? It's a 2014. I'll tell you right now, he's got over probably $115,000 into this Jeep on top of the purchase price, right? Just in accessories and upgrades. He's selling it for way less than that. So hit me up, I'll get you the details, put you in touch with him. Uh, I just wanna shield him from a bunch of random stuff. So I'll take the heat. But again, serious buyers only. I mean, um, yeah, you, you heard the list. N now watch the video. Here's the video of the Jeep uh, and my walk around with him. If you were in awe and you want to own this, let me know. Thanks for watching guys. So Scott, I happen to notice uh, there's a 392 badge here on the side. Yeah, that's just the badge. Yeah, yeah. Show me what's under the hood, dude. Uh, it's, uh, um, I think it's a 36. It sounds a little loud because <laughs> it has a muffler that's aftermarket. If it's a 36, I'm trading you. <laughs> it's a 36, 392. There you go. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a little. It's dusty. a Hemi. It's a Hemi. This one's a 500 horse Hemi done by Dakota Customs uh, out of um, out of uh, South Dakota. Uh, 500 horse, 500 foot pounds of torque, bolts up to the stock transmission. Uh, and um, this particular one has a Borla, uh, Borla three inch stainless steel headers and Borla straight exhaust with an exhaust cutout, electrical cutout, which we can cut out right after the headers and go straight exhaust. Oh, that's cool. Totally cool. Dual optimal batteries, uh, which really is a nice feature. One of the problems of uh, designing a vehicle is you look at all the shortcomings and you know Jeep doesn't have very many, but there are a few. One of them is under the hood lights. So we install this kind of cool little switch uh, and turns on two LEDs at nighttime and lights up the entire engine bay. Oh, that's cool. And notice you can't see any, any wires. There's no oh, no wires, everything's hidden. Must be these guys right here run right through. And that's it. Yeah, that's, the only one that's you see. awesome. Yeah. So we have a Warren uh, 12S Xeon winch uh, built in. We have uh, Whelan, uh, Whelan LED lights, both the light bar and front and rear and all around the Jeep are Whelan LEDs. Uh, <clears throat> Ultra hook by Factor 55, really, really sweet. Underneath, notice the RCV axles. We have a Dana 44 from Terraflex with a half inch wall. And that's a heavy duty uh, steering from, from Terraflex. Let's see four inch long arm kit with uh, one inch puck extensions for a total of five inches. Uh, the wheels are, are custom powder coated uh, from uh, uh, American Racing. Yeah, Falcon 3.1 shocks. Uh, we had to cut out the Poison Spider uh, fender well for, for the Falcon 3.1s, but it actually came out real, real nice. Rock Slide Engineering supplied us with a real nice piece for our LED light bar. Rock Slide Engineering, great sliders. It's great for when. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, that's great when you want to get in because with a, with a five plus inch lift in 37s, it's kind of a hike to get in.
I see they're lighted too, huh? They're, they're lit and they, uh, they close uh, automatically and open automatically. And what's nice is if you go off road and you open them up and so it hits a rock, they stop. Oh, so cool. you can see it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to do that. Yeah. And then you can disengage those, right, when you're out wheeling? Well, yeah, so we install this little switch here, let that close, and we'll go ahead and turn that off. And now they disengage and they'll work. Nice. I have all rock lights underneath, which is, which is always kind of nice when you're wheeling at night. Um, if you hop in and take a look at, there's your, there's your pistol grip. Oh yeah, I just did a just did an install on did that. Did an install on that, yeah. yeah. And for those of you wondering, yes, it does hold a magazine. Uh, go look at the Tuffy box underneath. I think. Uh, oh yeah. Right here. You have one on both sides, or just one on both sides, oh, and nice. they also have uh, matching uh, matching locks. So you have one key key to like. Cool. Poison spider cage. Nice. Uh, we have a custom switch system that we built. Obviously, we're in the switch business. We, since we, uh, through Team Tech Off-Road, sell Switch Pro, we mounted a Switch Pro system on the left and an S-Tech system on the right. Uh, all of the pneumatics are handled by S-Tech. All the electrics are handled by Switch Pro, which is oh, really, really that nice. that is nice, yeah. And you can see the spray bar disconnect is there as well. See, cats and dogs can play see, together. They play, yeah. Well, they're great people at uh, Switch Pro. <laughs> and just because we make switches doesn't mean we can't be friends. No, that's awesome. And uh, just just for that, just in case you, uh, you need a little extra protection. <laughs> there we go. Uh, now I know we're in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to be a 12 gauge and an AR-15, which which is always nice to have uh, when when the when hunting season opens up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you don't you don't find the rigs like this in Baltimore very often. <laughs> and you can see we have uh, poison spider uh, body armor. We 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 painted the body armor to match the oh, that's anvil cool. color, so most people don't even know that we've got body armor. But we went ahead and, and put red vinyl underneath the spider, so it kind of shows off a little bit. That's a great idea. Anti rock on the rear. Uh, we do have our sway bar, Rubicon sway bar, in the front, but we have a uh, anti rock on the rear. Which Wait, is hold on. Combination. I got to show this. <laughs> Underneath here, there we go. Team Tech off road. You see the ARB compressor? Yeah, you got the compressor right there, and then you've got the TTO sway bar disconnect. See, this is you're eating your own dog food. That's nice to see, right? Yeah, we love that. It love works, it. works great. And we have we have a we have a snorkel that runs from that ARB compressor up into the engine bay so we can go through deep water without pulling water into the filter. Oh, nice, which is nice. Yeah. That's a great idea of mounting a compressor up underneath there. Well, it's a great place for it. So you can see we've done uh, uh, all the conversions for Poison Spider LEDs, uh, wheel and backup lights. Uh, this is kind of neat, one of a kind. We do a lot of one of a kind stuff. Here's these are emergency flashers. So uh, if we want to, we turn them on and they'll flash. They, in, if we're parked someplace and we don't want people to, uh, to not see us. But how do you get at the spare tire? That's always a problem. Here's our rear camera. So we mount this up here, and now you can access through these super magnets. You can access the spare tire, remove the plate, and take off the spare tire. Uh, and here is the brake light, which is really that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So underneath back here, this is kind of kind of cool. Oh yeah, truck vault. We have a truck vault and a terraflex shelf system. So this is where we put all the goodies, and when we go to the shooting range, we usually load up with uh, a couple of BB guns. And we have, a, we have a, a power tank, and all of our winching equipment and accessories, and I think there might be another, another gun in there, who knows? Might be a, <laughs> maybe we keep our BBs in there, that's where it is. And this is kind of a unique uh, feature. I don't know anyone else who has a, a winch located in the rear, uh, but in this vehicle, we have Nice. We have it's a 4,000 pound winch that's used for UTV. And you actually, you, know, you can go underneath and see how we did it. It's kind of neat. We threaded it right through the oh, yeah. trailer hitch. So people say, hey, 4,000 pounds is not enough. Well, we're going to snatch block, which almost doubles it. Uh, one. And number two, you know, what you don't sometimes need more than a couple thousand pounds of push to pull you out when you're in a ditch. And we've had to use it a few times. It's worked out real nice. Oh, that's cool. You want to hear it? Yeah. All right, well, let's go. 
Wish I had more time. I wanted to take a wheeling. <laughs> Tightens up a lot. That is pretty uh, awesome. Neat. So we have the S Tech system mounted in its stock location. We've uh, we've put the Switch Pro actually underneath this air box, so it's actually located and hidden uh, underneath just for space purposes. Right. Nice. The Hemi kind of takes up a little bit of room. Yeah, I can imagine. And uh, these are always nice. I don't know if you have these on yours, but no, but but, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm looking at them right now, thinking that's a great idea. Well, uh, just go to our site and and buy them like you've done everything else. Yeah, that's awesome. I need some of those. So what, I, I did watch your video, and we are going to put on the the JL hood release. I love those. Them. Are I, cool, huh? I ordered the parts from the dealer, and I'm excited. Can't wait to put them on. All right, I talked Scott into a quick drive in this bad boy. Yeah, it didn't take much. Yeah. Don't probably need many excuses to drive a Jeep around, huh? The good thing about uh, Colorado is there's usually plenty of land to spread your wings. So what's nice about uh, this install is we've included a set of paddle shifters out of a SRT Challenger, so we can downshift and upshift right no off. No way! Right off the steering. Let's go ahead and get, get this in first gear. Oh, first. How hard were those to put in? Uh, it wasn't. You can actually put into a 3.6 as well. I'm thinking that, yeah. Uh, this happens to be not a stock radio, although it looks like a stock radio. What's nice about it is we've set this up so that we can operate with, with the spare tire. It's hard to see out of the rearview mirror, so we would use this as a rearview mirror, which is awesome. really kind of nice. Well, let's see if this thing runs well. set the suspension up real nice. You can feel even going over these, these bumps on the curbs that it sucks every single bump up. And even though it's on a five inch lift and even though the, stuff, the uh, shocks are set for stiff, uh, the springs are really, really good. You don't even feel when you go off the edge. And I'll go off the edge and a little, uh, I do this quite a bit for customers who come in wanting their suspension done. And one of the things we specialize is, is look at that. We're bouncing off all the dirt, going through it, it's nothing. Yeah, it's, oh, that's crazy. Downshift. No, no lean. Now let's talk about the lean issue. As we went through this with Rubicon Sway Bar, that we recommend you do not use the Rubicon Sway Bar disconnected while on the road. And you can see this Sway Bar is connected. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna disconnect the Sway Bar. And we're gonna do the same thing and I want you to see how, how much lean you're gonna have. Now disconnected. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and reconnect it. So that's the difference. It is not recommended that you use the Rubicon Sway Bar disconnected while driving on the highway. But it's nice to know that when you're off-road at higher speeds and high range, like you commented, that you can in fact disconnect your sway bar. say that this is one of the few times that someone else has driven my Jeep. It's kind of it's kind of strange being on the site. <laughs> I'm honored to be one of those few. I have a policy that you can drive it if you can pay for it. Well, I can afford it, but I don't know if my wife would like that. <laughs> I don't know what I have to sell to get it. 
So the brakes are, in fact, TerraFlex slotted. Uh, heavy, uh, they're with larger rotors. You can feel the uh, brakes are actually quite responsive. Four 37s and a 6,500 pound Jeep. here in the dirt if you want. Look at that. That's just crazy. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like you leave the road hardly. Oh, now he's getting into it. What do you think of that? Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I think I'll just take these with me. <laughs>